Me did the yan yan techua, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp tap tap send. Ain't ye ne? Also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Kakamu Busia for Wagana for name in a tap tap send. Papa no no. Finally, 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 I see some hope in our showbiz space, and I'm so happy to be doing this editorial today on Sarkodie, and it's about time concept. I'm so happy to be doing this. Do you know why? Because I've been talking about something, and they did it. And this particular thing that they did alone has given me the confidence that all is not lost. All is well. It's just a matter of we doing things right. It's just a matter of we coming together, packaging it right, and we can now sell to the world. We can now compete to the international platforms. Of course, the competition will start from home to start from Africa, and now we can conquer. I have more to tell you, so just relax. My name is Sammy Flex, and today's editorial is purely going to be about what happened last weekend in America, where Sir Cordier and his squad, I mean the tell my squad with some couple of people made some magic and i'm about to give you the breakdown everything you are supposed to do then we can continue with the fire i want to say thanks to digital rasta currency who is on camera richie flex is the editor and director of the show and emmanuel ofori lapg is the producer putting the content together for me to come through to do my thing it is the editorial when you see Sammy Flex alone like this, then you should know that I've come in peace and not in pieces to deliver what I have to deliver. So first, let's do this for Sark Odier. Congratulations to King Sark. Because I know he has been at the forefront of this whole particular concept. He has been leading, organizing the people, telling them that, yes, it is possible and it is about time. And really and truly, it's about time. On Sammy Flex TV, especially on Showbiz Daily, We've discussed this particular show on some countless occasions. We were talking about both the good and the bad. I know some of our people who even suggested that the space was too small for Sarkozy and the kind of squad that he was presenting. Some people also thought that, yeah, we can even do it at bigger platforms, just that we need to start from here. If we are able to conquer here, then we move on smoothly to the next platform. Now, this is, this is it. This is the happiness. This is what Sammy Flex have always been preaching about. This is why I have gotten some hatred from other African countries. And it has been like this all the time. First, the show happened in America. It was that platform that we are all waiting for. That's the Palladium Times Square in New York. Saturday, 30th July, 7 p.m. Beautiful show. When Sarkozy went there, I'm sure he met some celebrities, some footballers that we saw. I think Dembele or whatever his name is. He also met um, um, another player like that. I don't know them now. Uh, Memphis Depay, of course. He also met him like that. And they were having town on the ass. Uh, they were rolling town. They were rolling town. It was okay. That was enough publicity just to know that beyond Sarkozy coming there, there were also other squad who were there to support him. Now, alongside, Sarkozy presented a top list of artists. Ifia, Jackie, Kelvin Boy, Camido, Kwesi Arthur, and Darko Vibes. The good thing is that even on the day, we saw a surprise artist on the stage. We saw Oforian Ponsa, that is the evergreen Oforian Ponsa on the stage. Now, I love something Oforian Ponsa is doing. He has been very busy. He was in France, played in the UK, and now he's moved on to America to also play there. And it feels good. These guys have evergreen songs. 
So it hurts me that they will not be performing. They need to be giving it to their people. And what Ophelian Poissar did is enough just to confirm his, his comeback. Now, if you have listened to me carefully over the years, there is something that I've been saying that what we want to achieve as Ghana's music industry, or better still, what we want to achieve as Ghanaian musicians, one person might not be able to get up to achieve it because of so many factors, including our numbers, including our penetration strength, including our marketing strength. I said that so many people would want to do this, but one person might struggle to do it. We need to put together forces. And as we put together forces, gradually, we will now be taking our individual roles. And one day, just as Bernard Boy is able to advertise a show and place it alone, still filling um, the bigger auditoriums in the world, when we also start like this, then we'll get there. So look at what we witnessed. Yes, the Palladium Times Square in New York might not be an extreme big venue. At least 2,100 capacity is okay for a group of people who have not done this or who have not been doing it for a while. I'm sure this should edge them on. It is my wish that they don't even limit this to America. This squad, if they can understand themselves, if they can work out their own timings, they can move with this squad and do some magic around the world. There are so many people who are ready to host them. So many event promoters who are ready to host them. These are big names. These are big names. Now, if you are able to do it like this, the people who really came for the concert, I want to believe they had fun. Looking at the photos and videos that I've seen, sometimes you see a fan going crazy backstage, like you see them singing word to word. When King Promise threw his uh, clothes to one of the, uh, to the audience, I saw the struggle. They were moving left, right, left, right, left, right. Everybody trying to catch it. This tells us that the people who came there really had fun. So don't you believe that one day when we hear it is a like King Promise concert at the same venue alone? Don't you think we can do some magic? When we hear it is a Sarkodia concert at the same venue alone, don't you think we can do wonders? Who knows? Maybe if they had done it, like individually, if Sarkodia had done it, we wouldn't have gotten these numbers. If R2B had done it, we wouldn't have gotten these numbers. But now that they came together, look at this. That's where sometimes people say there is strength in unity. There is so much strength in unity. It is so beautiful. It feels good. I woke up seeing the numbers and I felt like, yeah, this is it. Yes, unfortunately, some of us could not go. We could not go, but it is our wish that in subsequent ones, we will all be there to sell what Ghana musicians are doing. And once again, I want to say big ups to the Tama Spirit. The Tama Spirit led by Sir Kodier. Of course, he brought on his guys, Kwesiatha, R2Bs, and the rest of them. Doing it there meant that this is how that spirit can also be revived. This is how. It is so simple. Let's do one. Let's do two. Let's do three. And everybody who is there will see the need to be a part of it. And it is a very good thing that Sarkodie has started. Now, let me also say this about Sarkodie. If not for anything at all, I'm sure this concert he did was a test of his strength as an artist who has not even released song in the year under review. He played this show in 2022. Now, in 2022, he has not even released a half song. Just to talk about even a single song. He's not released it. Yet, he led the concert with his brand, with his image, with his face. And this is what we are seeing. This is what we are seeing. Huge numbers. We have seen some of our people go to America to perform on some platforms. And uh, we see the kind of numbers that turn out. We see how audience react to the show. But watching this, looking at the numbers, looking at the audience, the way everybody was just having fun, it tells you that the show was well promoted. The show was well marketed. And everybody who came there had fun. I also want to big up the rest of the people there. That is um, RTB Entertainment, Success Music, and then powered by Zinyansa or something like that. This is what we are talking about, guys. You might not be able to do it alone. We might not be able to do it alone. So it is time we cut that 
I want to be the first person to do it. I want, I want to lead it. No, it might not be, you might not be the first person. Now, as they did this concert, they registered this concert in the brand Ghana. So imagine some of our top squad. Imagine if you can have Stoneboy, if you have Shatawale, if you can have Sarkod, if you can have Samini. And the most dreaded venue in London, the O2 Arena. Are we not sure we can do this? Like, just look at it. Just look at it. Like I'm saying, Sarkode might not be able to get up one day to say, I'm going to do it. It might be scary. It might be too a daunting task for him to climb. Maybe Stoneboy might not be able to do it. Maybe Shatawale or the rest of them. But if one day we say, Ghana, we are presenting the top S, regardless of any other person, we are presenting the top S in our music industry. Present Samini, Shatawale, Sarkodie, Stoneboy. And we say we are going to do the O2 Arena. 5K each and deal is done. But are we ready to do it? Are we ready to bring down our pride? Are we ready to think business? And sometimes these are the two things I see. The fact that we cannot bring down our pride. The fact that we cannot be so smart to think business. That what we are going to do is not about someone being your friend. No, the person is not your friend. The person is not your friend. He's never going to be your friend. It is business. In fact, you might not even talk to him before or after. But on the stage, you guys kill it. You sell brand Ghana. You make your money. And we can also raise the bar. Because until you raise the bar, I know there are so many things you guys are looking for. You are looking for distribution deals. You are looking for record deals. You are looking for publishing deals. You also want to be dealing with all the top, top music companies. You want to be dealing with the Sonys, the Universal Music, the blah, 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 blah. If you don't prove something, if you don't put something on the table, in fact, until you also put something on the table and a person or the people start believing you, yeah, like, these are the guys, they have the numbers. If we work with them, we are going to get there, in fact. So why are we still being individualistic in this approach? The best approach is what Sarkodie has been able to do. In fact, some of us, when we even first saw their publicity, that is the commercial they use for um, the advertisement of this particular gig, we thought it was just going to be another song or so. Because that was when I spoke with some people who were closer to the Sarkodie brand. And they told me, oh, how to be Sarkodie and the Tama guys, they want to do something. So initially, we even thought it was a song. We thought it was a song that they were coming up with. We woke up one day for the, to the reality and we realized that, oh, so it was a concert. It's about time concert. Our two bees and Sarkodie. No, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Now, we can all say it in confidence that if we do it right, we will get it right. And that's it. If we do it right, we will get it right. And it's a big kudos to all the people who are on the show. And I know the promoters who are also based in America might have done a fantastic job because artists don't sell tickets themselves. Artists don't do publicity that sells tickets themselves. They can only create awareness. Reason we saw the numbers that we saw there. It is beautiful. I am happy. Ghana is happy. Sack natives are happy. The musicians are happy. And I want to believe the promoters will also be happy. Because if the auditorium was full like this, Looking at their calculation, they will not do projections that they will have a full auditorium and still make losses. So I want to believe after everything, they have made something. Whatever they put in, if not for anything, they have broken even. And next business can continue. What else are we looking for again? That's what we are looking for. Some reflect when I see some of these things, I become so excited. If I don't see it and I say the other things, maybe some people don't get it. But when I see this, I become so excited, I become so happy. So I just want to bring it down and say congratulations to King Sarkodie, congrats to R2Bs and to the promoters who made this happen. We should not let this end in the um, uh, US. People are still looking for some more summer experiences. Canada is looking for this. Australia is looking for this. UK is looking for this. Like the whole world. Everywhere, someone is looking for such an experience. And even within America, this is just one state they have played. The rest of the 49 states, I'm sure they can continue to play some more. So what are they waiting for? They should just link up. Because the summer experience, the summer feeling is still here. It is not dead. They can go ahead and still rock things. 
And when they do this, our industry shows growth. Our industry shows development. So once again, congrats to you guys. And we came here to just encourage you more grease to your elbows that you should know we can do it. It is possible. And just as the name of the concert says, it is about time. Let's do it again. My name is Sammy Flex. Thanks to the guitar Rasta on camera. Richie Flex, editor, director of the show. And Emmanuel Foy with RPG as the producer. In the evening, let's meet on our Showbiz Daily. I'm sure we'll be talking about some more points here that you are going to surely enjoy. Uh, subscribe to us if you've not done that. And let's do some more. Salute.